Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great trade-in value from Parkway RV Center. I've, and for those of you who are on a budget or just looking for your first-time RV, I've got one today that's very affordable and very nice and clean. This was a trade-in, uh, and they upgraded from this one to a, a $90,000 tag axle Monaco Dynasty diesel. So they made a pretty significant upgrade. This is a 1999 Fleetwood Southwind model number 32V. 32 feet, seven inches exactly, the longest point, bumper to bumper. Um, it's got one big slide. One family owned since new. A uh, guy that traded this in, his parents bought this one new in 1999. A couple of years after they bought it, they took off and lived in it for about two or three years. They, been to, they, went, they took it to all 49 states and all over Canada. And uh, they passed a few years ago. He inherited it. Him and his family have enjoyed it for the last few years. And now they traded in on a $90,000 diesel motorhome. So definitely a beautiful RV. It's been kept under cover when it hasn't been in use since the day it was new. And you can see from the outside, I mean, there's no delamination. The finish is beautiful. No dent stings that I can tell. Got a 5500 Onan generator running right now, powering everything up inside. Folks, it does have 102,000 miles on it, but like I said, it's, it's not been sitting around deteriorating. It's been used, and it's still got a ton of life left to it. And this is pretty cool right here. They put one of these 50 state maps, but they put the year that they went to all the different states. 2002, 2003, etc. So they've definitely, this motorhome's got a great background to it, folks, and it's been well cared for its entire life. I mean, if you're looking for an older motorhome, you want something you don't have to work on, something that's been cared for, here you go. Now, it's not perfect. It is 20 years old. And I do see one scratch right down here along the side on the cargo bays, but that doesn't affect it at all, folks. Cosmetic stuff's just part of buying a 20-year-old motorhome. But for what you're paying for this motorhome, folks, this is very affordable. Great way to get into RVing without having to buy something that needs a lot of work. And the roof's been resealed lately. I mean, the tires look good. The glass is good. Everything on it that I can tell works. In fact, the guy that traded it in told me if we find anything that doesn't work, send him the bill. Got power steps, even the dash air is ice cold, folks. In my 2008 model, the dash air doesn't work. So, obviously, this thing's been well taken care of, and I'm going to show you some stuff on the inside. 32V, got the 6.8 liter Triton V10, 305 horse, uh, 420 pound feet of torque. Of course, you know, carpet has been changed. And, and I know the folks. It's got one of those interiors, either you love or hate. It's definitely that 90s decor, but um, it's clean. Got a Samsung Smart TV he just put in a couple years ago. 102,251 miles. Like I said, the dash air is ice cold. There's no check engine lights, no warning lights, none of that nonsense. Of course, I know we're sitting at idle, but we're blowing the 40s out the air conditioner. And, you know, as you go down the road, it actually gets a lot colder. The seats, to have 100,000 miles, are in great shape. These are the Flex Steel captain's chairs, and the driver's side is power. They both swivel for party seating. Backup camera works perfectly, even though I know it looks squiggly on camera. But rest assured, that's just a refresh rate between the CRT monitor and, and this digital camera and the HD digital camera. So in real life, that's a solid, steady picture of what's behind you. I mean, everything, folks, is in good shape. A little storage there, a little slide tray for the passenger there. Got the uh, crowned roof. Got double ducted roof airs. They're both ice cold. Got the original hardwood floors in it. The upholstery is in decent shape considering the mileage and the year model. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna show you everything that's wrong that we don't cover, but 
you know, you got a couple little tears right here, maybe half an inch long on the chair where somebody sat down with a screwdriver in their pocket or something. No, no big deal. Got all the books and manuals. Got a, a factory sales brochure. Table booth makes a bed. Sofa makes a bed. You got room here to put an air mattress if you need to sleep a couple more in the kitchen area. Uh, got the Corian countertops. They look great. And believe it or not, none of them's cracked. Now, the stovetop cover... And they've probably dropped this sometimes in the past 20 years and cracked it. It's cracked a little bit, but been like that for years. It doesn't affect the functionality of it whatsoever. Got an oven. Got a microwave and a confection oven. So you've got two ovens in this RV. You got an eight cubic foot um, Dometic Royale refrigerator freezer that works great. No, I don't see any water stains on the carpeted headliner. Got a fantastic vent fan. Like I said, the original hardwood floors. And I'm going to show you one thing here, because I don't, and I know this is trivial, but I want to show you everything that I can. Uh, and I don't even know how well it shows up on camera, but several years ago, um, his parents took it out. The, the vent cover for the refrigerator blew off. They didn't know it. it. It leaked a little bit down the refrigerator vent when they were using it. They didn't catch it. It discolored a little bit of the floor. Of course, it's been replaced, and and fixed and all that but you still got a little discoloration on the hardwood floor that's why they put that mat there so like i said i'm not going to hide anything it is a 20 year old motor home it's not new but i promise you folks you're not going to find a better condition south wind for this price anywhere else and um refrigerators clean of course he's replaced LED with led light in there and it's starting to get cold it's got an ice maker, but I'm going to assume that it doesn't work because it's got ice trays. And, of course, those RV ice makers are, are notorious for not working anyway. So, uh, But you do have a walk. You walk through the hallway here. You've got a big closet on the side. You've got a fully enclosed side bathroom. Everything in here is original, uh, except now it looks like he's replaced the linoleum floor a little bit sometime over the past 20 years, which that's nothing unusual. You can look around the sky. I, I like the showers they used to put in these folks, uh, where it's all surround fiberglass and plastic. Um, skylight looks good, no signs of leak damage. Wallpaper's not peeling, and that's the original wall text that came in it. Now folks, I know this; these colors may not suit everybody's taste, but you can paint and re wallpaper or something if you want to. That's trivial expense. You know, when you buy an RV, the main thing you want to look out for is how it's been taken care of and if everything works. Cosmetic stuff like carpet and wallpaper and stuff like that is fairly inexpensive to do. And you can, you can decorate that to taste. Of course, here in the back, I mean, no wallpaper peeling in here. Everything looks good. Window treatments look good got a TV up top here the original Panasonic got the two roof airs I've got them both on right now they're both ice cold in fact I'll show you real quick we'll go here in the hallway and show you and you can see I mean we're in the middle of, a, of an asphalt parking lot blowing 30s out the air in the Sun with no shade so and it's hot outside and this is all running off the generator folks If you're looking for an older motorhome and not wanting to spend a lot of money, say it's your first time buying an RV or you're on a budget, you can't go wrong with this one. 199 will show you everything on it works at 199, which, like I said, the guy pretty much told me anything wrong with it, he'll he'll fix it. Like I said, the only thing I'm gonna assume the ice maker doesn't work, and we don't cover those because those things never work anyway. But uh, it does have ice trays, so you do technically technically have an ice maker built in if you put some if you do the old school way of putting uh, water in the ice trays other than that folks i mean tvs work the dash air is cold generator works roof airs are cold refrigerators getting cold i mean this is a nice motorhome and i know it may be a little older than some of you are, are really want to purchase and i understand that i have you know i always say we we carry something for everybody 
and I've got plenty of, of newer RVs for more money. But for those of you who want to spend under 20 grand, you're going to have a hard time beating this deal. I mean, this is a nice motor home. I've driven, I've driven it myself and we traded for it. Excellent ride and drive. You can tell it's been taken care of, folks, and that's the main thing. Got his and her nightstands, 60 by 80 queen mattress and more. 19.9, that'll be checked out, ready to go. After purchase, my RV techs are going to go through this thing, which should, should take them. They should be able to do fairly quickly because I'm pretty sure that everything on it works. And uh, we'll make sure everything works. We'll put propane water on it, check your awning, check your jacks. It does have hydraulic leveling jacks. Uh, of course, slide out obviously works fine. We're going to go through it, make sure everything works, check your plumbing system, uh, check your tanks. Uh, check your roof, inspect it, which he just had it serviced here before we traded it, so I'm pretty sure that's not going to be an issue. Um, in other words, folks, when you come pick it up after you purchased it and after it's been through service, you're not going to have any worries. Option A, 19.9, haggle-free, non-negotiable firm. Uh, it doesn't matter how you're paying for it, if you're paying cash, trade, or finance. To be honest with you, folks, it's... A 99 model is a little tricky to finance. I have one lender that'll do it, but they're going to want quite a bit of money down. So keep that in mind. You're probably going to have to pay, pay 25, 30% down if you need to finance. Um, but I'm going to tell you, folks, the good thing about something like this motorhome right here is that you can buy it today, you can enjoy it, use it for a couple of years, and you may decide, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I love the RV, but I want something a little different. I want something bigger, smaller, diesel, class A, B, or C, or whatever your needs might be after you use this for a couple of years. And the uh, thing about it is, folks, you can put this thing on the internet, and you can sell it for $19.9 in a couple of years. You keep it the condition it's in now, everything working on it, it'll bring $19.9 a year or two from now just as quick as it will today. And you can rest assured that versus buying one of these brand new where you lose 33 percent of whatever you just paid for it as soon as you take it off the new dealer's lot i'm talking about in five minutes you've lost fifty sixty thousand dollars you can buy this today use it for a couple years and not lose money on it folks that's that's the beauty of it um and you know if you buy one of these new like i said as soon as you drive it off the new dealer's lot it's worth 33, you lost 33% of whatever you just paid for it. Of course, the bad thing that gets most people is when they finance a new RV, the value goes down, but the payoff doesn't. You still owe what it costs new or more than it costs new, but you but it's worth 33.3% less than what you just paid for it in five minutes. And it happens every day, folks. It's sad. And the bad thing is, time you keep a new one for, for three or four years, and decide you want to trade it or sell it and get something else when you're tired of it, it's only worth half what you paid for it. And that doesn't matter if it's a motor home, if it's travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever. It's time you use one a couple years, decide you want to get rid of it, it's, it's basically worth half whatever you paid for it new. And that's just a rule of thumb, folks, when it comes to new and used RVs. That's why people make the smart decision to buy used RVs, let somebody else lose that kind of money, and um, you, be, you get the benefits. And this thing, folks, is nice. Um, like I said, it, I showed you a few little imperfections on it, but all in all, this thing is is is, is jam up. For a 99 model, if I had to rate it 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I'd give it a, a good solid 9. You know, it's got a couple little cosmetic scratches. I showed you that pot spot, the discoloration in the floor, but... It, the, there's no there's no water stains in it. Uh, the roof looks great. Been serviced. No delamination. No uh, no fading. I mean, it's like I said, it, it's a good solid nine out of ten, and that that's going to be hard to find in, in a 20 year old motorhome. But anyway, folks, 199, and for less than you're going to spend on a basic new travel trailer you can buy a fully self-contained class a motorhome with a generator and a slide out in jam up condition checked out ready to go uh, that's option a and what it includes of course is this beautiful 1999 Southwind 32v also includes 
uh, inspection by our certified RV techs that will be completed after purchase. The way it works, you purchase the RV, it goes in the line to get checked out right now. We probably get this one done in a week, week and a half, and be honest with you, probably less. Just ask your salesperson whenever you buy this RV what the current lead time is for a Class A checkout. And of course, your salesperson is more than happy to send you a copy of everything that we inspect and guarantee for the price you pay. In other words, anything on that inspection list that does not function, we're either going to fix it or replace the part at no additional cost to you. In other words, no matter what it costs us for this motor on to pass the inspection, we're not going to go up on the RV a dime. So rest assured, folks, that everything will work. If you take the option A, you've got no worries. After it's been checked out, my service manager will call you, set up an appointment for you to come pick it up and get your walkthrough demonstration. This is a very important step, especially if this is your first RV. The RV tech that checked it out, that knows the motorhome better than anybody because he spent some time in it, is going to go through this motorhome with you, going to show you how to operate everything, how to set up at the campground, show you that everything works. Um, he's going to uh, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, show you anything he had to do as far as repairs. You can record them with your phone, your camera, however you want to do it. He will also um, help you hook up your runabout if you're towing something back with you. And that's included for that 19.9 price. Plus, you get a, a drive-out tag, starter kit, and uh, instructional DVDs, as well as a year of free camping, up to 21 nights, completely free to you. Uh, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. Contact us for details about that. Great resorts. I stayed at one a few weeks ago myself, and there's several locations in the United States that you can visit. Um, so definitely. Um, uh, a really neat little bonus feature. I mean, you, you know, you spend 50 bucks a night at these RV parks. Some of them are $100 a night, and you get 21 nights free. So put a pencil to that, folks. That's quite a bit of savings, and you don't have to take all 21 nights, but you, you'd be, you know, at least stay at several nights at these resorts. You're going to love them, folks. Anyway, um, that's included for 19 9 or we have option B, which is the only way we discount our price. And option B is you buy this motorhome just like it sits in the video, just like you're seeing it in the pictures. As is, where is, no checkout, no inspection. Um, we're not going to guarantee anything to work. We're not going to check anything. We're not going to give you a demonstration or a walkthrough because we can't give you a demonstration when we haven't gone over it ourselves. And basically, it's a jump in and go price only. The only thing we're going to show you that works is a slide out because you obviously got to bring it in and drive it. Um, and you don't get any any kind of nothing, folks. I mean, it's just basically like buying it for sale by owner. You don't get free camping. You do get a drive out tag, instructional DVD, and a starter kit, and the motor home. That's it. Those four things is all you get. As, and as long as you understand what option B, what you're entitled to on option B, then we will give you a discounted price because that saves us time and money and we, so we turn around and save you time and money. Plus you get the added benefit of not only getting the discount but you get to take it home the same day you pay for it. So, uh, If you're interested in a price on option B and I know about 80% of you are going to take option A as, as you know that, that we figured up from last year, give our sales department a call and they will give you a haggle free non-negotiable firm price on option B. You don't have to make that decision based on my videos or my descriptions. Come out. We invite you to come out. You and your family, come out. Look at this motorhome. Let us know you're coming. Of course, never drive any significant distance for a particular unit unless you call us first to make sure it's still available. And uh, don't wait a week before you actually leave to come look. You need to wait right before you leave the house to call us. And if it's still here, let us know you're coming. Try to give us plenty of notice. We'll come out here, we'll, we'll plug it up or run the generator, get it cooled off for you, get the fridge on for you so you can spend some time in it. And do your own inspection. Um, we'll bring the slide in, let you test drive it. Uh, of course, you need to make an appointment for test drives, folks, just like you do to come look at the RV. And um, then you can decide after you do all of that, you can decide if you want to do option A or B. Um, and be honest with you, folks, I'm... I'm torn on this one. I honestly think option B would be the way to go if I was buying it. But, um, but then again, folks, everybody's got opinions. 
about what a 99 model uh, motorhome condition should be in to be considered nice. So best thing to do just to satisfy your curiosity, of course you never want to buy a vehicle, a used vehicle without looking at it first and test driving it, come out and look at it, meet us, tour our facility if you've never been here before, look at our inventory, you know we're family owned and operated for 50 years, you know we're, we, we're not a uh, we're not a fly-by-night organization by no means. We've always been here, always going to be here for you. Um, I have generations of families that have purchased RVs from us from all over the country. So definitely come out and see us. That's the way buying and selling should be. You, you know, we prefer to meet who we do business with, and you should too. And certainly, you know, and I appreciate, you know, we sell a couple of hundred RVs a year to people we never even meet, and I appreciate the trust that they put in us to buy that way. But like I said, we do prefer the old-fashioned way, handshake to handshake of doing business. I think that's the way. I think this world, as far as buying and selling-wise, would be a lot better doing it the old-fashioned way, handshake to handshake, meeting them in person. You, you eliminate scams that way. You eliminate buyer's remorse and seller's remorse and all that stuff too folks doing business that way I think that's the way it should be but come out meet us look at this motor home spend some time in it if you let it like I said make an appointment let us know you're coming we'll have it cooled off for you because folks northwest Georgia end of June it's hot like heat index triple digits you go inside one of these motor homes it's like, that's been cooped up a couple of days, it's like stepping into a 140 degree oven. You're not going to spend much time in here, but if you let us know you're coming, we'll get it cooled off for you. You can spend some time, do your own inspection. You're going to like it. Um, be honest with you, it, this one I don't believe is going to last long. Not for this price. So let us know you're coming. And come look at it, come test drive it. Then make your decision about option A or B. Anyway, folks, if you have any questions, our phone number, office number is 706-965-7929. That number is answered 24-7. If it's after hours, we've got an answering service, and they have basic information. If they can't answer your questions, uh, of course, they will get your contact info and forward it to our non-commissioned sales department, who will contact you the next business day. We're open Monday through Saturday, uh, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, Eastern Time. So for those of you who are west of us, who are on a different time zone, please keep that in mind. And uh, Saturday, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Closed Sunday, that's Faith and Family Day. And folks, before anybody asks, I'm not trying to be rude, but we do not open up on Sunday for anybody, for any reason, at any time. Everybody here works six days a week, and our closing time is our closing time. I never ask they never require any of my employees to stay over because they work so much for us without days off that uh, that's just one thing we're big about, folks. At, you know, their time their time is my time during business hours. After, five, after 6 o'clock and 5 on Saturday and on Sundays, it's their time, and they will not stay over or will not come in on their uh, come in on Sundays for anybody, folks. I would never ask anybody to do that. And, and the way I figure it, folks, if you can't get here between during our business hours and you, you don't have uh, time to use an RV if you bought one. So definitely keep that in mind, folks. We close at closing time every night and we're closed on Sundays. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, 706-965-7929. Check out our new website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Got 140 plus used RVs in great condition got some of the lowest prices on the internet you know we've been in business since 1968 you don't stay in business that long in this highly competitive industry unless a you've got the nicest cleanest rvs b you've got the lowest prices on the internet and c you treat your customers right and and i don't know any better testimony that you can give a prospective buyer like yourself than 50 years family owned and operated Right there is all you need to know about the kind of business we run, folks, because obviously, you know, we sell used RVs, folks, not new. I know there are buyers out there that expect a 20-year-old motorhome to be absolutely like new. And they're, of course, they're in for a rude awakening. But for those of you who know what a used motorhome is, what it entitles, come out and look. You're going to be impressed, folks. Um, thank you again for watching my video. 
uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, keep an eye on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. You can email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Got a great interactive website. Save it to your favorites. I have a 24-7 live operator-assisted chat and text system from our homepage of our website. Again, just like our call, our answering service, if it's after hours, they have basic information. If, they, if you need to know more than basic, they'll get your contact info and forward it to our non-commissioned sales department. So no sales pressure, no games, gimmicks, trouble, lies, or drama. They're non-commissioned. What does that mean to you? That means they get paid the same whether you buy a motorhome from us or not. So they're here for your benefit to answer your questions without any sales pressure because whether you buy one or don't buy one doesn't affect their paycheck one cent. Now these other dealers that use commission salespeople, they get 25, the salesperson gets 25% of the gross profit as an industry standard commission rate. That means the RV dealer is rewarding them for ripping you off. In other words, the more profit they make the dealer, the higher the commission rate. That means you're paying an extra 25% markup on profit just to cover a salesperson's commission. Another reason why everybody's driving around with late model RVs that owe way more than they're worth because of that situation right there. So anyway, folks, no fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, no tag, no tag and title fees, no processing fees or setup fees or for uh, any of that junk, folks. The sales price and the inapplicable sales tax, if you got questions about your tax, how much you're supposed to pay for tax, when and where you got to pay it, contact your sales department. They will give you that information. Thank you again for watching. Um, nationwide deliveries available and um, nice motorhome. Look forward to seeing you soon in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.